Hey everyone, Technometer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Android phone touchscreen not working, or if it's not responding, or it's glitching, whatever the problem is with the touchscreen. These are the steps you want to follow to fix it. So let's get started. Now, when it comes to the touchscreen not working, one of the very easy and the simple thing you can do is ensuring that you wipe down the screen. So here, I like to take a microfiber cloth. Really just wipe it down sometimes if there is any liquid, oil, or basically any sort of dust, dirt that gets on the screen. It's going to interfere with that touch screen. So you want to clean it very thoroughly and put it under the light to make sure, again, it's completely clean. Now, another recommendation is that if you recently put a new screen protector uh, on, it may be an issue where it's causing issues with the touch. I recommend removing it off if your screen protector was damaged, maybe it got broken or you dropped the phone, you want to take that off and put a new screen protector. Along with that is if you put a new case on, sometimes the case can also interfere with the edge of the screen here and making it hard for the touch screen um, to touch and not work correctly. So you might recommend is taking that new case off and then see if that helps. Now, after you have done that, you want to follow this step, which is you're going to locate the volume down button and this power button. So what you need to do is taking your f two fingers at the same time, we're going to press and hold down the volume down button and this side button here. So I'll show you just like this. We're going to keep on pressing and holding. So I'm pressing and holding the volume down button and that power button. It's going to say uh, some stuff on the menu, but just wait till it goes completely black and you see the logo appear of the phone before you let go. So we're going to wait to See if we can get the logo on again. And once you see the logo, you let go. And that's forcing the phone to completely shut down and then reload the code. So if it's a software related issue, this is going to ensure that it is fixed. And the reason why we do this instead of just a regular restart is because this actually shuts down the phone software, reloads the code, so that if any code is having is issue, we're going to go ahead and f that's going to go ahead and fix it. Now, another thing to consider is that if you recently downloaded an app and it's causing any issues with the touch screen, you may consider deleting the app as this could be the reason. So if you have an app like this, you're going to long press and hold, click on uninstall, OK and then delete it. So you want to delete that app. And does that happen sometimes if there's an app that has bugs or glitches that you downloaded, it's causing that issue as well. Now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is going to be charging your phone. It's really important that you charge above 20% or more. Sometimes when the charge is low, you may not think about it, but touch screen stop working correctly. So it's only a good idea to just charge your phone to at least 20% or more to make sure that isn't the issue why you're having any issues with it. You can charge it and make sure it's charged up. So that's going to be really important as well. Now, along with that, if you're still having issues with it, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is, of course, making sure you have enough space on your phone. So in your settings here, just go over here and then you're going to look for storage here. So let's look for storage and you want to make sure that it's not using up almost 100 percent as you can see here i'm using 65 gig out of 256 now if it is you want to delete some stuff like apps photos videos to clear up some space and that's going to help it as well from having those issues especially with the screen not working because it might be another glitch that's causing the screen display not to work. So these are the steps you can follow to fix the touch screen not working. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your Android phone. We'll see you guys next time.